Well, this is a topic that's created a lot of contention between neighbors across North, North Texas for years now. We're talking about short term rentals. Well, today the Dallas City Council heard from people on both sides of this argument once again, and our Olivia Leach was there as homeowners got their point across to the City Council and the mayor loud and clear. I feel like we're talking about two different things. Over 70 community members signed up to speak at today's Dallas City Council briefing about how to handle short term rentals in the city. Opponents of short term rentals or STRs say they are ruining their neighborhoods. It was nonstop partying on the weekend. It was, you know, smoking, drugs, um, trash. If it looks like a hotel, if it acts like a hotel, if it runs like a hotel, it is a hotel. We purchased our homes with zoning that promised we would be living in a residential neighborhood. In December, the Dallas City Plan Commission recommended the City Council categorize short-term rentals, STRs like Airbnbs and Verbos, as lodging, which would mean that they couldn't operate in single-family household neighborhoods. STR owners are calling for regulation, not a ban. A good solution, regulations, but not elim elimination. The commission has recommended a zoning ordinance that would ban STRs in residential districts and in multifamily structures. I'm certainly uh, welcoming fair regulations for rentals, as I think there really needs to be that. But the zoning issue is very extreme. And the assistant director for code compliance says banning STRs from residentially zoned areas could eliminate 95% of STRs in the city. Total zoning out of residential, that's why my guests come there. They want to be in a quieter neighborhood, close to their families. They don't want to be in a big hotel in a commercial area. Code Compliance also proposed an ordinance that would require all short-term rental owners and hosts to pay an annual $248 registration fee. What's more, the ordinance would restrict loud noise overnight from the STRs. A vote on these proposed ordinances could take place next week. In Dallas, Olivia Leach, CBS News, Texas.